In this video, we're going to be taking a look at adding and subtracting whole numbers. The goal for today is to be able to compute sums and differences. Sums deals with addition, differences deals with subtraction of two whole numbers greater than 10,000. So what I'm going to do first of all, I'm going to do a couple problems for you, and then we're going to do a couple together. So the first thing you will always want to do is write down your addition problem or subtraction problem. So we're going to do 8,243 plus 7,485. So like I said, the first thing I will do is always write it down. So I've written my problem out, and now what I'm going to do is start adding Okay, it's very important to line everything up, even though I have a crazy looking eight that'll still work. Okay, line everything up, line the ones, tens, hundreds, and thousands all up together. So we have three plus five, that's going to give me eight. Four plus eight, which is actually equal to 40 plus 80, since it's in the tens place. Okay, so four plus eight is going to give me 12. Put my two there, and I'm going to carry my one. 1 and 2 gives me 3, plus 4 will give me 7. And then finally I have 8 and 7 is going to give me 15. For a total of 15,782. Okay, so we have 4,825 minus 1,937. We're going to subtract now. Okay, so it's important to take a start all the way at the ones place. 5 minus 7, you cannot do 5 minus 7 because what you're trying to do is take 7 away from 5, and you cannot do that. In other words, if I only have 5 M&Ms, I would not be able to take 7 M&Ms away. So I'm going to have to borrow from my friendly neighbor, the tens place, make that 2 into a 1. And then now we're going to carry that 10 over to the ones place, making that 5 a 15. Now we're going to do 15 minus 7, which we are able to do now. That's going to give me 8. Okay. Now, I cannot take 3 away from 1, so I'm going to borrow from my hundreds place, make that into a 7. Now I'm going to make that 1 into an 11. So we're going to do 11 minus 3 will give me 8. Cannot take 9 away from 7. I'll borrow from my thousands place, make that into a 3. Now I have 17 minus 8. I'm sorry, 17 minus 9 is going to give me 8. Then finally, 3 minus 1 will give me 2. So it's really important to remember if this bottom number is bigger than that top number, you always will have to borrow from the next place value. Okay, so now what we're going to do is I want you to get out your notes and we're going to do numbers 3 and 4 together. So we have number 3 now and what we're going to do, we're going to write it out a little bit differently than how they have it set up. I always like to start out with the largest number or the greater number on top. Okay, so I'm going to write 58,000, let's do this together, 276 on top, make it a little bit easier to add. And then I'm going to have my 4,185 at the bottom, so 4,185 at the bottom. So we're going to add these two together. Okay, so starting at the ones place, 6 plus 5 gives me 11. Okay, that's greater than um, 9, so we're going to have to put a 1 here and carry a 1 to my tens place. 1 and 7 gives me 8, plus another 8 gives me 16. Put my 6 here, I'll carry my 1. 1 and 2 will give me 3, plus another 1 will give me 4. Put our comma here. 4 and 8 will give me 12, put my 2 here carry my 1. 1 and 5 will give me 6 for a grand total of 62,461. So you can see I wrote everything nicely. I took my time. I just added these digits by themselves. Okay, now we're going to take a look at number 4. I'm going to erase this. And I want you to write number 4 out with me. Okay, so we start out with 8,000. This one's going to be a little trickier. So 8,000 minus 3,146. Okay. Now, what we're going to do is, first of all, start in my ones place. I cannot take 6 away from 0. 
Now I'm going to have to go all the way down to a digit with any value. Zeros are still digits, but they don't have any value at all. So I'm going to go down to my 8. I'm going to change this to a 7. Okay. Now what we'll do is we'll put the place value right next door, change that 100 here, and we're going to put 1 in that um, 100's place. We're going to change that into a 9, and then we'll keep moving it over. Change that to a 9, and then finally move it all the way over to my 1's place. Now, when we had a 1 here, that was actually a 1,000 in the 100's place. Okay, so now we can start subtracting. We've borrowed all the digits that we need to borrow from. Now we're ready to go. 10 minus 6 can give me 4. 9 minus 4 will give me 5. You can see 8. 9 minus 1 will give me 8. Put my comma there. 7 minus 3 will give me 4. For a total of 4,854. So it's important that when you borrow, you change that 8 to a 7. And then in all reality, we're just crossing that 0 out and we're making it, you know, in the long run, a 9, a 9, and then finally giving this final 1, final 0, that 1 there. Okay, I, I made it into a 10, then made it into a 9, as you can see. Okay, now what I'm going to have you do is do numbers 1 and 2 all by yourself right up here. So what you'll need to do is pause this video, and I want you to complete numbers 1 and 2 all by yourselves. And when you're finished with that, you can press play, and then I'll have the answers for you. So I want you to pause the video now. Okay, so these are my are your two answers for number one, 5,711, and finally for number two, 16,505. So that shows you how to add and subtract whole numbers. And if you have any questions, please come and see me about this topic.